This past weekend, our message was focused on 1 Corinthians chapter 2, just the first five verses. And in this section, Paul is talking uh, to the Corinthian church who he first shared Jesus with. And he's telling them, look, whenever I came to y'all and I shared about the news of Jesus with you, I didn't come um, with a lot of eloquence. I didn't come because I had it all together. I didn't, actually, I was really afraid whenever I came to all of you. I came with weakness and fear and trembling. And he says, I did this because I knew that if you were gonna believe in Jesus, it was gonna have to be because the Spirit of God worked in power in your lives in order to get you to believe. And I didn't want your faith to rest on something I had done, but on what God has done. And as I've been meditating on this passage um, for the last couple weeks, one of the invitations that I have sensed from Jesus in my own life is um, really learning to pay attention to myself in those moments. What are the moments where I want to be impressive to other people? What are the moments in my life where I really don't want to appear weak or like I don't have it all together? And I've been um, just intentionally trying to shift my thinking in those moments whenever I can become aware of them to go, how is this an invitation actually for me to trust Jesus in this moment? That I don't have to come across like I have it all together. I don't have to look like I've figured everything out. I can be weak. I can be imperfect because that actually is a space where God's work in my life can be most magnified and where I can be most open to the Spirit's power. So I would encourage you guys this week to think about um, what it looks like in your own life to know nothing but Christ crucified.